Hi everyone, welcome to In His Love. My name is Pedita. So, the big question is, did Sami Oposu make it to heaven? Before you even think or say or anything, just wait for me. Let me land first, okay? So welcome back, back everyone. Um, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, uh, please take the minute to do that and um, so that way you can get videos and like my videos, like this video so that way it can spread out. And um, you know, I was watching the funeral, Samuel Kosu's uh, funeral service. Um, I couldn't watch the whole thing because it was so emotional uh, to me, very touchy. And seeing the wife cry and, you know, even when, while they were singing all of his songs, you know, different people performing all of his different songs, it brought joy. And at the same time, it was sad to me. So it was like a, like a mixed feeling to me, you know, and, and I'm thinking, I was just thinking you know, about everything that happened shortly, you know, before his passing away. And the question um, came into my head that, did Sami Oposu make it to heaven? You know, as a Christian, that's, that's like the final um, thing we all want, the final question we all want to answer at the end of our journey here on earth. Did he make it to heaven? And um, I believe he did. I believe he did. And I'm not just saying this because, um, you know, to make it sound like is the to make it sound good or to make it sound uh, uh to, to you know to make it sound nice or something i'm saying this because this is this was heavy on my heart to say and um i'm the person that i don't like to judge people's uh, uh character or let me say their personal behaviors you know because we are all not perfect I know some some people that watch my channel will be like, "What are you talking about? You're always judging. You're always judging our pastors and talking about what they do and everything." I'm like, "See, that's where you get it wrong." The scripture says, when the scripture says we should not judge, he's talking about like people's character, you know, uh, personal behaviors. Like, uh, did the person lie? Did the person, uh, 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 you know, do stuff like that? Did the person lie? Uh, did the person steal? You know, all those all those um, sins that we do to ourselves, you know, or even to others. But like, it's like a, like a personal character. That's what the Bible means when it says, do not judge because no one is perfect, you know. Uh, you're talking about someone that steal or that stole, I mean, and, or did something some other kind of sins it may happen to anyone it may happen to you it may happen to me so that's the kind of judge judging god said we should not judge but not the doctrine when it comes to the doctrine you know the teachings of of christ the word of god and someone else is teaching knowingly or unknowingly teaching the wrong thing for his own gain his own benefit you know to manipulate people to give in to his, his or her own benefit. That we should judge. The Bible says we should judge. That, that, that the preachers should preach and others should judge. So that aside, I just wanted to clear that. So, you know, I was, um, I was thinking, I was just watching everything. Well, I didn't watch the whole funeral. Like I said, it was so touchy for me. But the little that I watched and I saw the wife crying, even with all the happy singing of his songs and she was just crying and just her head bowed and everything and i'm thinking i'm like you know and i remember the whole uh the whole saga thing with uh um african doll in america you know he being pregnant for him and all that story some of us know the story if you if you don't go online and look for it you see it but um i was thinking about all that and you know people said a lot of things when he died that probably because um probably because of you know what happened and uh his whole story his whole life being out there you know in the open in, in for the whole world to know uh through social media probably got him real down and probably led to whatever you know but 
that aside, you know. <laughs> but what I'm here to talk about is that did Sammy supposed to make it to heaven? I believe he did. Why? And I'll tell you because I think he had time. He he had the opportunity to set his heart right with God. Through that saga that happened, you know, through that that story that happened with American Doll. So think about it because I think I think God loved Sammy so much that he had to allow uh, a shaming thing like that to be exposed. But it wasn't to destroy him. It was to help him straighten his heart, the position of his heart with God. Because God, knowing that his time was near, see, because it's only God that knows when you and I will leave this earth. Nobody knows that. Nobody knows. God knows. So God, knowing that Sammy's time was near, he wanted to straighten his heart position with him, God, so that he can make it to be with him. So that whole saga thing was a, was a horrible disguise in a good way. It was a horrible situation that could happen to anyone, especially, the, you know, when you call yourself a minister of God, a, a servant of God, or a pastor, or, you know, or a Christian, you know, well known for that matter, like Sammy was. So, um, my, what I'm saying here is that I believe that he had time to straighten himself with, with God, to straighten his heart. You know, this, the scripture talk about David in the Bible, you know, that he was a man after God's heart. Not because David did not sin. Oh no, <laughs> we all know David's story, yeah? We all know his story. So it's not because he did not sin, but because David knew how to uh, straighten his heart, the position of his heart with God at every given time. David had a, a contrite heart, a broken spirit at every given time. Not because he did not sin. So you and I here on earth, there's there's no time that will be ever be free of sin. You might say, Oh, I don't fornicate, I don't commit adultery, I don't kill, I don't uh, you know, all that stuff. You might say all that stuff, but is are those the worst sin on earth? Do you think that's what God's looking for? To be the worst sin that we can ever do as humans or as Christians or name it. God doesn't really care about all those sins. What he cares most is the state of your heart with him, your relationship with him at every given time. So let us sit back and think, you know, where is our position, our heart position? Where, where is it with God? Where is it with God? Where is our heart position? Where is it with God? Are we, are we, are we, do, are we like some self-righteous Christians like, oh, I don't do this, I don't do that, I'm perfect, you know, well, you know, I'm trying my best, I think, you know, I'm going to make heaven, but in your heart, you, you, you feel, you, you, you're thinking ill of someone else. Your heart is not pure. See, this God that we serve, his, his, his own, his heart, 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 that's what he looks at, our heart, he goes deep because is he penetrates beyond the physical appearance he penetrates beyond the self righteousness he goes deep inside us and check where the state of our heart is like i said no there's nobody that will be, ever be free of sin as long as you are still alive on this earth christian or no christian nobody is free of of sin that is why it is christ's righteousness that we, we, pre we present ourselves with to God. God sees us through the eyes of Christ's righteousness. And he sees us, you know, uh, as, as worthy before him. So, all that stuff happened to Sammy, right? You know, he, um, 
like we heard he, he lost um, contracts of, of uh, music and all of you know concerts or whatever it, he used to do he lost a lot of chances you know uh, some churches probably didn't call him he stepped down you know so I'm thinking that when he stepped down you know I believe he was talking to God or finding his way or straightening his way so I believe that he made it to heaven he had an opportunity to make it to heaven you know so where am I going at the end of this I'm 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 bringing this for us to sit down and reflect on our own selves reflect on our own selves to the to the fact that where is our standing heart wise with God where is our standing not not a righteousness wise or you know living sin sin free life no 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 where is our standing heart wise with God now God may have allowed all that to happen you know of course it's his it's Samuel also made decisions made some some not so good decisions you know that led to all that saga and everything but God may have allowed all of that because maybe he was trying to talk to him get his attention but Sammy was was carried away and busy right so God allowed that whole expose to happen because he loves him you know some people think everything about God some Christians think everything about God should be rosy and nice and per and sweet uh, no flogging, no, no, just, just sweet, 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 sweet. No, then you don't know God. You don't know him. You see, God will do anything to get our, our attention when he wants to. Even if he has to make something really not so good happen to us. Just to get our attention. So God who knew that was, uh, Sammy's time was near, very near. Maybe he has been trying to talk to him to get his heart position right with him. But Sammy was busy. Like we all of us we are busy. We don't we, we don't we don't hear when God sometimes we don't hear when God uh, speaks to us. So God had to allow that that uh, saga, that expose to uh, to expose to happen to him, you know, to bring him to a broken level, to bring him uh to a state where he he begins to call God, where are you? Where are you? Yes, and God is like, yes. Finally, I have your your attention, you know. And he made his, I believe he made his life straight with God, his heart position. So the same thing with us. Our lesson here is that don't allow, don't don't let it get to a state where God will have to um, allow something horrible. Uh, happen to us for for him to get our attention let's try our best to keep our heart position right with God always this is where uh, you know when the scripture says pray without ceasing it doesn't mean you should go and be kabaga basha bara 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 non-stop no 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 it's your heart position because what is prayer again prayer is just communication between you and God so your heart position you being able to say, oh, Lord, I, forgive me for this I've done. Lord, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have done that. You know, you, you talk to God every day. You talk to him. That is prayer. So don't wait for the, the hardest way or the toughest way for God to get your attention. Some of us may not even have that opportunity for tough things to happen to us like that before we leave. Let's be conscious and Make sure that our heart, our heart, I don't even know how to do yeah. <laughs> our heart position is right with God all the time. And how do we do that? By having personal relationship with him, by talking to him all the time in our hearts, in our minds, you know, by the fear of God. That's all I have in my heart. You know, it was heavy in my heart. I'm like, let me just say it. I don't know who this video will help. Uh, I don't know who is going to uh, help. So thank you all for listening. Uh, 
be mindful enough to have your heart position right with your God. Always, as much as you can, be conscious enough, you know, and um, the grace of God will always be sufficient for us if we ask for it. It's always there to, to help us through. Um, thank you all for listening. Uh, please like the video, share the video. Let it bless someone out there. And uh, I'll see you on my next video. Bye.